Yo! What the f YouTube, today I got a banger video for y'all. We spectated a player that blew my mind. I mean, this dude started off being the worst player I've ever spectated in seven years of doing this to absolutely beaming people. I'm still, I'm still baffled. But this is one of the wildest lobbies I've ever seen just on, well, I'm not gonna ruin the video for y'all. If you do enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe today, and let's get into it. All right, so I've been playing research all day, and I'll be honest, it was a, uh... I was gonna go pistol, but Jay Mills decided to start turning into a fucking sex machine and beat me off. And I can't spectate that all damn game. Anyway, as I was saying before, I was really interrupted. If your lobbies are like mine, you're like me, getting shit on 24 seven. We may be able to pull three, four, five, six wins a day. That comes at a cost of several hours and about one or two dozen games. So I'm gonna be taking all my frustration on these guys here. Here we are spectating. All right, okay. Our first solo, first off. I need to be playing this map. This map clearly is not with it. Your boy gets shot at, he goes in the room. The loadout's right there, you got a crate. At least grab a gun and play your life. Secondly, Dalton's over there watching this sh the show go on. And instead of just shooting from the range, he wants to close the gap and push the fight. And he ends up winning it, but only because the guy that killed the last dude decided to sit in the corner like a big back bitch. Apparently every good player in the world is on resurgence right now, which is why everyone's lobbies is completely cranked the fuck out and all the shitters are on Urzikstan. I say all, oh, if you're playing Urzikstan like, Savage, I'm not a shitter. Clearly I'm being dramatic. Calm down. Dude, I've been so pressed today. I've, I've been chewing on my lip from the stress that I've had from resurgence, man. This shit is crazy. It's fun, it's hectic, it's what I like, but I mean, every now and then give me a bot lobby. Please, God, bro, I, I just, this isn't about resurgence, but we are, of course, one of the reasons why I do like resurgence is because Urzik stands turn into this weird, I'm gonna sit on buildings, not fucking move. I was telling chat the other day, look, even if you're getting aggressive, even if you're getting bounties and UAVs and you're trying to hunt people down, most of the time, they're gonna be sitting on the top of a roof with Claymores, Bettys, the work set up, or they're just gonna run away from you. It's very, hard to to play in lobbies where players want to fight it, it honestly should be flip-flop but certainly should be a lot easier Ernest Dan should have all the sweats but this is call of duty and activision we're talking about nothing makes sense when it comes to this game whether it's the player base or if it's the actual company let's see how dalton decides to push this fight though did your boy run away <laughs> weird Abs absolutely weird man i don't what are y'all doing? I don't know, you're playing a first person shooter just to camp and run away. I mean, you hold the vantage point, at least wait for them to come to you and then fuck them up. So I hate riot shooters, but at least they're out there kind of getting kills. I don't, I've never seen a riot shooter run from a fight. Although I wish they would. All right, let's see what happens. He's gonna pick up the bounty again. Like I said, dude, I stopped playing Urzik Stan. I'm a big map guy. I've always played big map. I've never been a resurgence guy, but I've been playing a lot of resurgence just because again, when I'm trying to get active, people just sit still. How many times have you guys been playing Urzik Stan and run to fight one team and next thing you know, there's 30 teams on rooftops around you and you're just getting absolutely pegged like you're in the middle of a Bukaki porno. It's absolutely wild. I'm a little I'm a little passionate today, boys. It was a, it was a rough day in resurgence. We only won like three games. It was three games in four hours. I think I'm washed. Am I washed or are you guys experiencing the same shit? The first day it came out, we won nine games. That's the best day I've had. <laughs> After that, they're like, no, nah, hell no, nah, Savage. We've been playing with viewers, guys. I do live stream, kick, Twitch, and here on YouTube. So if you guys want to join in our viewer games, make sure you guys join me. Um, and maybe you guys can carry me to some Ws, man, because clearly I'm washed. I need it. Maybe losing my hair, maybe lose my powers. I have no idea. Now, people have been talking highly of the Moors. I haven't leveled it up yet. And as a sniper, a lot of people have been pissed off. Like, Savage, you're a sniper god. Why aren't you using it? Honestly, the base of the gun is so fucking miserable to use. I haven't even wanted to level it up. But honestly, good job on Dalton jumping down on the enemy. And again, we have the bounty. I would imagine he's going off a limb here. He's going to be on a rooftop. <laughs> Let's see. The ping isn't moving at all. So that means your boy's going to have to push him. I don't see any I don't see any movement. So he might be on a staircase, sitting on the bottom. Maybe he had high alert go off. I'm not sure why he just jumped like that. He has some kind of reaction. I love that we're heart beating it. 
as if there's not a, a ping on the mini map. And I know, I know the pings aren't, they're not active, Savage. There's a delay, I get it, but it hasn't moved this entire time. So I don't think between the first and the 90th heartbeat, he's probably not gonna move. Yeah, it is surprising enemies are not on the rooftop. Oh, oh, there he is, Tide. Oh! No! Oh my God, what the, what? It looks like he wanted to switch his weapon. It just didn't switch. First off, great shot. Any kind of airborne shot like that, you gotta give credit where credit's due. Great shot. Unfortunately, you lost the swipe in Jay and you were his first kill. Love the camo on the gun, by the way. That's that's savage. Ladies and gentlemen, Urzikstan. So it's a double-edged sword. I hate the slow pacedness of Urzikstan. I love the aggressive, fast paces of R Rebirth, but, but, sometimes I just want you guys to slow it down. We had a fight today where I literally, we where I literally solo squatted a team. My teammates who were next to me as well were fighting another team. So after wiping two teams, a third team pushed us, which is, which is fine. But you go from that to this. Y'all want to get better and get PR kills? Come here, because here we are right now trying to fucking measure our dick. And I promise you with the game, it took him that long to drop plates. Savage is a new player. Warzone is four years old. There's no such thing as a new player. Dear Lord Plates, will you please give me another kill? Have an enemy come to me and have his game fuck up so I can get another kill. And again, your boy looked like he was trying to switch weapons. I don't know what happened. It forced him to rechamber. I don't know, but that was unfortunate. That or he fat fingered it, one of the two. So we have to rotate across a body of water, which is vulnerable position, by the way. We've got to rotate to Old Town, which is going to be hot. Now this lobby is relatively healthy for the type of circle this is. So I don't expect him to survive this rotation. Oh my God. Now look, if y'all play like this, even though I'm trolling him, I'm not trolling you. So again, don't get butt hurt. This is a place where we like to learn and we like to laugh. We have gunshots to our left-hand side, meaning there's a fight probably, judging by the distance, I'd say around this area. I want you to notice how he's running. Let's see how, where is that? Oh no, it's further. He's running, he's not looking left, not looking right. You guys really, really, really need to start getting in the habit of looking while you run. You really have to. You've gotta be a little bit more aware of your surroundings. Whether you have high alert or not, you always wanna keep your head on a swivel. I can't wait to see him snipe. This is gonna be an absolute treat and I'm so here for it. When I first started playing multiplayer shooters, I was probably around like, I don't know, nine, 10. And even I didn't play like that, because it wasn't fun. And on top of that, I mean, it's common sense. The more you play, meaning actually playing, running, shooting, looking, looting, shit like that, the faster you get better. It's like when you're practicing for anything in life, right? You wanna be a better driver? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna sit in the car in the garage the whole time, trying to pray to God that you get better? Or are you gonna get out there on the street and practice your driving? Whether it's a hobby, or you guys are trying to be the next Joe Woe, you guys, you guys gotta play for one of the reasons. Either get better or to have fun. This isn't fun. No game should have you guys afraid. You can get pressed, you can get stressed. I live like that in this game, but you should always try your best to have fun or this game is just not for you. If you're playing like this and you're like, I don't care about getting better, Savage. I just don't want to die. Look, I'm not telling you to quit COD. I want you guys to play this game. We got to keep it as healthy as possible so we can all have people to play against, but there are better games that you might actually enjoy more. Gameplay like this really reminds me of a lot of Tarkov players or looter extraction players, right? New marathon games coming out in the end of next year. Hopefully, shit, hopefully it drops earlier. Make sure you guys check that out. Guy on the rooftop. I'm really not making a video trying to turn you. Oh, what? Yo! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I didn't expect that. I. She even got excited. I didn't expect that at all. Got on the rooftop. Here we are again. Yo! What the fuck is happening? God, come on, bro. Your dude is a closet animal. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, yo. Swiping Jay, you are an absolute legend. I'm gonna shut my mouth and we're gonna take tips from this dude. <laughs> Bruh, I'm shook right now. I don't I don't even know what to say. This is uh 
four years of spectating Warzone, one year spectating Blackout, and two years of spectating PUBG. I've never in my life seen gameplay turn from that to gunplay turn into that. And you can be like, aim assist all you want. I promise you, I complain about aim assist from time to time. That, I don't really think that was aim assist, homie. Or that, or he's, he's got aim bot and he's just deceiving us all. But I don't think so. I don't, I don't. Is it luck? It, is he fucking with me? I don't know. Oh, here we are again. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. How's he play this? <gasps> no, I want you to win. Turn around, he's gonna chat. Turn around, oh, no, turn around. Shit, swipe and Jay, you're letting me down. Please have, gu please have Gulag. Please have Gulag. Oh, I went from hating him to loving him. Damn it. All right, Kratos, ha, oh, sitting here rocking three as well. But look, in that fight there, when you're out in the open like that, right? The moment we got cracked, the moment we got stunned and cracked, you had two options. Bail away like you did. Turn around and chow, because you have to play your life. You have no cover. There's no way you're gonna play it up in time. Play your life. And did he have smokes? I don't if he had smokes, throw your smoke, obviously, but I wouldn't pay attention to that. Or two, that little corner that he's aiming at right now. When he started pushing that right hand side, go left and play it up and listen to the audio and try your best to get pop a plate or two. When he gets closer, cancel your plate and again challenge. The last thing you guys want to do is just turn your back and run away. All right, we got 360 Kratos out here rocking three, showing off to the world. All right, FaZe Kratos, calm the fuck down. FaZe is washed. All right, so now we, we floated over here. <laughs> Damn it, bro. I hope to God he had Gulag and he glitched on us and he comes back and kills Kratos. I've never spectated a player that camps his ass off, has no movement, doesn't fucking move around, doesn't look around, no awareness at all, just turn into an absolute demon demon. And I know he wasn't the most accurate player in the world, but for what we saw, that dude was God, all right? That dude went from a zero out of 10 in everything. Todd gave him a solid seven on his gunplay, or at least his accuracy, I should say. We have a guy still on the rooftop above us. He's got a really good angle. Really good angle. This is a fight I don't want to challenge. This is a fight I would not take. We got to get safe. He's got to jump down. We don't have a gas mask. If we were to rotate first. Say we were to rotate first. We could actually get somewhere to kind of get an angle on him. And when he has, and when he's forced to jump off that stupid ass crane, you could beat him up there. This is why I always tell you guys, don't get on cranes. You might get kills here and there. You might do all right. But at the end of the day, man, well, the moment you have to jump, you're going to get fried by anybody in the lobby that's half as decent. And look, he looks like he's making a break for it. So I would not waste bullets. Oh, he's lagging his ass. Actually, I've been lagging all day. So maybe it's me. Have the servers felt like shit to you in these last two days? I mean, they're always dog shit, but like it has been real shitty. Did y'all see that little street? That little lineup popped up? That's called a precision. If you see that, you need to run for your fucking life. No, don't be shit to pull the shoot second. The second time, uh-uh. Are you gonna play? There's a guy near you. He heard footsteps. The enemy probably heard our shoot. And look, when we pulled the shoot the first time, we were gliding, we could have made that fall. We didn't need Mountaineer for that. Right there. Oh, you hear him. He's on the he's in the wall to your right. He's in there. No, you see him. You saw him. Just, come on, brother. I believe in you. I believe in you, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. How'd he know? We weren't on Yui. Hey. I mean, your boy got fucked up. But that was that was weird. We were, we were slow walking. Maybe he had high alert. He could have had high alert as he was running by. I don't know. Everyone accused everyone of cheating. I'm just trying to join in on the game. Moving on to bosses of bosses, rocking seven. All right, he's the top frag of the lobby. He's rocking the Striker Nine, which, by the way, I'm a huge proponent of. Love the Striker Nine. If you guys haven't used my Striker build, I lied. It's Citizen Snipes' Striker build, but I'm taking credit for it because he didn't play the game that much anymore. <laughs> Sorry, Citizen. I'll leave it in the comment section below, but leave a like on the comment if you if you end up building it. All right, thing's a fucking beast. I haven't tried an Urzik stand yet. I've been playing exclusively Rebirth because, well, it's Rebirth. But it's it's a beamer, bro. Beamer. All right, boss of boss is doing the same shit. This is a lobby. Ooh. 
He's got a riot shield. You better be careful, bitch. You might want to play it up as you're swimming, too. You might want to play it up. He lost us. Bomb drone. We have a bomb drone. Oh, he's back to us. <gasps> yes! Suck it, riot shield, bitch! Love it! Let's go, baby. All right, so it's a 1v1v1. There was... Oh, there's footsteps inside here. There's, there was also gunshots to the right, so there's a guy at each building. This is pretty common, right? We're going to waste our durable for this? Go inside the fucking building. You're a crackhead, bro. Oh, bosses are bosses. And then instead of playing... Bro, bro. Look, dude, it, it was safe. The building was safe. Go in there. Protect yourself using the wall from this guy and fight this dude. Right, if you wouldn't waste your gas mask, you could have played in this building up until now. And the enemy would probably have to come out and you'd have to shoot him. There are a thousand different things you could have done that's not what you did. And then we have enter the mixlin. The fuck? I, mean, I know I can't read for shit, but what does that mean? Enemy's on our rooftop, obvious. One great jump spot. It's common, but you don't see people do it a lot. So great job just knowing basic shit. <laughs> with enemies and just staring at nothing. Look at this. Look at this. Your heart beating. Where do you think we're at? I'm going to give you one fucking guess. Where are we? The only building in the zone. Guys, if you enjoyed that video as much as I did, leave a like on it. Subscribe today. I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace.